How do real wealthy people actually dress like these days? And is it true that they all dress in this old money aesthetic style or that they dress like people in the TV series Succession do? Or is it something else? Well, let's find out. So many people do get really triggered when we discuss why someone would even want to know who's rich and who's not. Because as soon as we start talking about, okay, let's identify how wealthy people look like, everybody always assumes that there is some form of, you know, sneaky agenda behind. And and for many men and women around the world, leveling up will most likely involve being around high society. So when the question rises, how wealthy people dress like, please remember that it's not because somebody has a malicious agenda. It is purely due to social research. So to answer the question, how wealthy people actually dress like these days, it will actually need a bit of an answer. And I really want you to listen through the entire answer because you need to hear a few sides to the coin. First and foremost, I want you to be aware of one important thing, the evolution of high society and how it continuously is changing and growing and evolving. And this is not just for high society. This is for many, many communities out there. High society has looked differently depending on times. So centuries ago, it looked quite different. Some decades ago too, but even as close as five, 10 years ago. So to some degree, I would say there are certain parts of the old money aesthetic trend that are true and some parts of the quiet luxury aesthetic trend are true too. If back in the days these communities would have a very distinctive look to themselves, I feel like we're seeing less of that today. And there are many reasons for that. Some of the reasons are, of course, how our society is evolving today, like the boom and rise of social media, how more widespread the trends are becoming and how they are affecting us, but also the boom in economy that has given high society a lot of newcomers. So as a result, the dress code of high society has therefore become quite diluted. If before they would wear certain specific items to be recognized by each other because maybe it was a thing amongst them, I think today we have so much less of that, even though we still have that to some degree, but it's definitely not a rule. Rule book's been torn up now! I think we really need to focus the conversation for a second regarding the newcomers, because they have certainly influenced high society quite a lot, and especially in recent days. Decades. More and more people have joined high society now than ever before. If before it used to be kind of very a secluded group, now this group is starting to become diluted. Many countries are becoming wealthier and wealthier, and it's simply becoming easier and easier for regular people to achieve status and wealth. So think about it this way. These newcomers, they're going to bring their style and clothing to high society. So as a result, we have now an incredible rise in variety of appearances in high society versus before. They maybe had one or two or three styles, but now we have a wide array of different styles. And that's because we have a wide array of different kinds of people in high society, not just old money, not just generational wealth. Oh, and by the way, if you want to find out how I leveled up my life, I'm actually spilling all the details in this free class that I'm offering to you ladies if you go to fabulousfutureformula.com and sign up. It's absolutely free. So have you ever seen content online that tells you things like what you think rich people look like, what they actually look like. And then there's always the cliche picture of Mark Zuckerberg wearing a t-shirt, where basically people claim that rich people today, they all dress really low key, really casual. They all wear just, you know, jeans and t-shirts. Even though I think to some degree, that definitely is true but it's also not the entire truth. I think we definitely can say that there has been a rise of low-key rich people in high society. And that is partly due to what I was just saying earlier about the newcomers, because now we have a lot of kind of regular people who have, you know, acquired wealth. And these people, they are very used to maybe dress very low key, they enter high society and they don't really change their way of dress. They continue to dress in their t-shirts, in their jeans, whatever. They're not really bothered to change, I don't know, their, their style to fit in. Not everybody has to change their style if they wanna mingle with high society. So of course that adds to the trend and to the conversation of quiet luxury. You will of course also have generational wealthy people who also dress in the very typical kind of low 
low-key and quite luxury style. And that is oftentimes due to education, because they're educated not to be showy, because they value discretion, because they value modesty. They don't want everybody to know about their wealth, they don't want to stand out, they want to just kind of blend in with regular people. But saying that all rich people dress like Mark Zuckerberg? I don't think so. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Please be aware and pay attention to what a broad group of people high society actually is. Because you have all kinds of people in that community. There isn't just one character type. So you're going to have different styles under this really broad umbrella. I always tell you on this channel about elegant style and how there isn't just one elegant style out there. Elegance is actually an umbrella name and under the elegant category there are many subcategory fashion styles and by the way if you want to find out which elegant style category you belong to I have created a free quiz for you just go to stylepersonalityquiz.com and take this quiz it's absolutely free of charge you can't think that there's only one formula to how a rich person dresses like I mean they all have different styles to themselves they all have different personalities they all have different backgrounds let's not forget the biggest and probably most forgotten point out there, different countries, different cultures, different religions will have their unique diversity too. Like as an example, let's speak again about old money aesthetic. There is so much focus on this aesthetic that basically makes it look like all old money people only dress like <laughs> preppy white people in Europe do. And what about all the other old money people from around the world? I mean, we have so many other old money families from so many other continents around the world, but it seems like only the white preppy European look is what is categorized as old money today. But ladies and gentlemen, the world is bigger than just Europe or US. There is no longer a set formula to how rich people dress like. There will be certain types of aesthetics in this community depending on country, culture and religion. And you will also see various styles. Like you're gonna see some people dress in quite luxury. It's just one style, but so is flamboyance. And you're going to see that some people will dress more creatively, more flamboyantly. Dressing like loud money or new money is a style too. Not all rich people want to dress low key. And then don't forget, you will also have those who don't care about style those who have no style. And then you will have the complete opposites. You will have the fashionistas, the trendy people, the cool people, the one who dresses really in style. So if you wanted to identify this community, unfortunately, it is quite hard today. Now, in my next video, I'm going to help you avoid looking like an old money stereotype because we definitely don't want to dress like that if we are here to improve our style. I will see you in that video.